To close our fists for the revolution be Open palm may show you our separation is man-made Made in Adolf, cementing thoughts that turn John Doe to Adolf Where they see weeds, we see seeds see. We no longer need to close our fists for the revolution I've seen Flowers grow and petals fall from mountains Surrounded by estates and suburban terrace housing Her notions of positivity discarded like pieces of puzzles Muzzled echoes of greatness and fear Society may not feel the same elation We no longer need to close our fists for the revolution We must be heard We must be From the depths of our bellies to the lumps in our throats When questioned on our perception but failed to mention We must continue to be and be a unit Being, being unison like troops with lowered arms and open palms We no longer need to close our fists for the revolution It's amazing to witness the hierarchy of power you deem acceptable How the masses would rather hand the power to individuals Individuals back to masses and term new political rituals Stand beside me, not as followers but as thinkers So we no longer have to look up for guidance We can look side by side, what side are you on? We are no different No age, no class, no colour, no race Like troops with lowered arms and open palms Where daisy weeds, we see seeds see. We no longer need to close our fists for the revolution Oh he must be Oh he must be worthless if he's occupation Don't match your level of patience Oh he must be worthless if his cadence drops vows Lower than where his trousers sit Oh, he must be, they don't know my history Oh, he must be, they don't know my history For the knowledge they ripped out the pages Call the stugs and beasts when we protest on stations Because embedding the thoughts is what has a nigga Run a nigga to the stations Stop snitching patience All I ask is patience Fear the brother on my shoulder Cause he could take my life right now When we act like we don't know no better I so sorry Ooh, I don't really give a fuck No, I don't really give a fuck One hand up, other hand ripped on my nuts Shake, shake, man, I spent your advance on my lunch Nah, I don't really give a fuck No, I don't really give a fuck One hand up, other hand ripped on my nuts Shake, shake, man, I spent your advance on my lunch Can't say that Can't say that You can't say black You can't say to the pursuit art, not poetry. Poetry was an accident. <laughs> poetry came from my boy telling me I can't write a poem. So I said I can. And then I wrote a poem about feet. <laughs> and I performed it in the canteen. Uh, we used to have this like student area and um, I performed it in there and like, people was like listening. And I was like, ah, oh, wait a minute. Maybe if I wrote some stuff that was actually serious and not just about funny shit, do you know what I mean? Like, 
I think I can really make a difference. So with Open Hand, I wanted to kind of write something that wasn't meant to separate anybody. It wasn't about, I think a lot of people thought it was about um, black, black, this idea of like black power and revolution or, or, or black lives matter and, and all that kind of stuff. It, it wasn't about any of that. It was, it was down to the, the, the finer details of if you believe something and I believe something opposite, we have something to teach each other. We shouldn't be separated on that. There's something to learn from every person's thought process. And, and, and once we kind of have a better understanding, it's easier to deal with some of the issues that we, are, we have. I find it kind of uncomfortable that we're raising generations of young black children to feel like they're instantly at a disadvantage because of their skin color instead of trying to uplift them and instead of trying to push them forward into the world bright bright eyed bushy tailed and saying you can fucking do it anything that you fucking want to and that's just not black people that's any any kind of person that may have grown up underprivileged uh, and and feel like oh all we have is whatever we're surrounded by and it might be nothing but if you actually try to reach if you try and go that extra mile and take it there possibilities are endless. When when I started Push Crayons with Craig, um, it was just a way for us to kind of stop being told no, basically. Like everywhere we went to try and be like, we've got an idea or we want to do this or we want to try this, it was always like no, or you're too young or mm, we're not sure or ah, oh, but like, we're not really sure what that means and blah, blah, blah. So we just started to just do things on our own. Do you know what I mean? And, um, and I think kind of creating, keeping that creative energy and saying, okay, well, why can't we be involved in fashion? Why can't we be involved in film? Why can't we make poetry and music work? Do you know I mean, why is there so many no's? Like, why can't we just do it? I brought it to Coco. I did like, when I was touring with Young Fathers, that was the, we did a sold out show in Young, um, in Coco. And I had her in a balcony. And um, I remember afterwards, um, well, during the show, yeah, during the show, I was like, Everyone say hello to my mum. I took a selfie with the crowd. And I went to go speak to her afterwards and um, the one thing she said is, oh, they didn't boo. Which is a good sign. So, <laughs> we're out here, we're out here. Like, I've had people tell me some real, real deep stuff about their life and, and um, in response to what I've written, having knowing nothing about them, we've found a way to connect, if that makes sense. And I think that's probably a big, big part of why I keep doing it.